Okay, hey guys, welcome back to the vlog channel. So, Carrie Dayton is here. Hello! She is visiting from Arizona, and I was gonna vlog this weekend, and then I decided I think it would just be, like, so much better to sit down and have a conversation. Yeah. Because when Carrie visits, it's basically me, Carrie, and Skylar, like, driving or shopping or doing something and just mm -hmm. talking about, like, body positivity and, like, mm -hmm. weight issues and confidence. And, like, I feel like the conversations we have are so interesting. Yeah, 100%. And I almost made a video about it for my main channel, and then I was like, you know what? Let's put this on the vlog because I feel like then we can just relax and just yeah. kind of, like, mm -hmm. talk openly the way that we do when the camera's not on mm -hmm. and just kind of totally. act the way that we do without having to yeah. make sure it's a certain length or that we hit certain points that we want to for the main mm -hmm. channel video. So this is basically just going to be like a conversation with me, Carrie, and Skylar mm -hmm. about, I mean, what even about body positivity, yeah. exercise, workouts? I like, feel like this is what we do. Like what we when do. we get together, like the three of us are just constantly like, so tell me what we think about this. And yeah. like, we all share our opinions <laughs> on like different things. And I think it's like, yeah, it's a really interesting like way to kind of like give you guys like an indoor or kind of like an open window to like what our conversations are like maybe off camera. I think it'd be a really interesting like other aspect to it, you know? Yeah, totally. So the main thing I, the first thing really that I want to start with is like, what are your thoughts on the idea of can you be body positive and want to lose weight? So I did a whole video on this topic and yeah. it was kind mm -hmm. of like a really mixed response. Like a mm -hmm. lot of people were like, thank you so much for saying this. And other people were like, really felt like attacked by the response. Cause I went, um, in my video, I talked about it with my friend Kara, who is like a life coach essentially. And she helps women like heal their relationships, with, like food and their bodies and stuff. Mm -hmm. So she's very like body positive and she's kind of like anti-diet. I mean, she is anti-diet. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of that can mean like, so kind of like in kind of a uh, conclusion of what, what we talked about, kind of the main point was that like, of course you can, it's your journey. Like we can't tell you, you can't do this and like be a part of this community. And that's like what we talked about before too, is it's like body positivity is like for everybody. It's yeah. not just for one type of body. So like, we can't tell you that you can't be a part of this. Like if you want to lose weight, yeah. however, like in my opinion, and that like what my friend and I talked about is that like, if you're trying to shrink your body for aesthetic reasons, yeah. like it's, it's supporting the thinner is better argument. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. it's like, yeah, of course you can do whatever you want, but like if, if you really are under the belief that like, if you shrink your body, you're going to be prettier or more successful or happier or healthier or whatever it is, like that might, that, that might be damaging, especially if you're a person on social media and you're like mm. spreading this message, like I, you know, I'm on this juice cleanse and I didn't eat for three days and like whatever that can be like damaging, especially if you're doing that for like health, but disguised as thinness, the pursuit See, of thinness. You know what I mean? Sorry. I'm not very good at like, <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. Being put on the spot. But like, that's kind of, yeah, it's like, it's, if, if you're not after the pursuit of thinness, that I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Like say you have joint pain mm -hmm. or you want to have more energy yeah. or you want to like be able to go on hikes easier yeah. or you are just excited about the fact that like you're able bodied and you're, and you can, you can work out and you can do these things. Or if you want to eat more vegetables, like there's nothing wrong with that. But right. I feel like for me anyways, like if you're just seeking to be skinny, yeah. like that's problematic. Yeah. See, and I, I agree with everything you're saying, yeah. and I think all three of us are very in touch with, like, body oh, positivity yeah. and, like, working out because, like, we want to be mothers someday or because we want to be strong or feel good, but I feel like it's kind of the same opinion that I have on, like, plastic surgery yeah. and, like, body modification. Like, I don't think I would ever get lip fillers or get a boob job or, like, make alterations to my body, mm -hmm. but I'm all for if that empowers someone yeah. and they're, like, open about it, like, more power to you. Yeah. Yeah. And so I feel like if you're unhappy in the skin that you're in, like not only like do you feel unhealthy and you feel like you can't move around, but also it like you can't get to that place of confidence mm -hmm. in the body that you're currently in. I think there's nothing wrong with like m making healthy choices to lose weight. Well, and yeah. it's part of feminism, right? Like it's yeah. literally right. just like we support women and no we matter what. them no matter yeah. what. Like, there's their no choice. if this or exactly. and that. It's like 
I just support women. Like, and that, yeah. it's your choice. It's your body. You can do whatever the hell you want with it. I was actually watching a video about Heidi Montag this morning and she opened up about like, it was like 10 years after she had these like 10 surgeries in one day yeah. and like all this regret she had and stuff. And it just like, it really kind of like brought up the plastic surgery thought in my mind again. Mm -hmm. and I think it's really interesting. And I think it's like, yeah, you, you support her. It's her choice. She can do whatever she wants and she, you know, regrets it as it turns out. And that's okay. That happens sometimes in other cases, it's like life changing and it makes mm -hmm. all the difference in their confidence and stuff. And like, like you said, you know, we can't like regulate, you know, you're not allowed to do that. It's like, yeah, you can do whatever the hell you want, but it's just kind of like, it's a personal choice. I think for me, my big thing, cause like I love like fitness. I really like to focus on health instead mm -hmm. of that. My big thing is I wish more people understood that weight loss does not solve all your problems. Yes. <laughs> because I think so many people think like, oh, if I lose the weight, I'll finally be confident. I'll finally like start dating. I'll do all these things. And it's like, that's a mental block. And yes, maybe losing that weight will somewhat help with that. But those issues are not going to go away mm -hmm. by changing your body. Like, yeah. I was the most unhappy and the most insecure when I was my thinnest. Me too. Because I had I had hyper fixated on my body that when I got my body to what was always going to be the goal weight, it was what else is wrong with yep. me. It's like... That's what we were talking about yesterday. Yeah. It was like, it switches to the next thing. So Which it's is like, why mm -hmm. a lot of people who have really extreme weight loss end up getting plastic surgery mm -hmm. or end up changing other things because... It's like y you have to fix those insecurities in your brain, which is why I think body positivity and like health and fitness go hand in hand. Because if let's say you're someone who's like, I really want to improve my strength, that is a body positive thing. Hell yeah. Like, I, and that's one of the things I love about working out is I feel in touch with my body and like I can't hide my stomach. If I'm trying to do a squat, like, I need yeah. to engage those core muscles and acknowledge them and, like, be grateful for them. Mm -hmm. And I think that if more people looked at fitness and even weight loss as, like, this is not going to solve my problems, yes. mm -hmm. that would be better. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I mean, there's just, there's no reason that you have to wait until you're a certain size to, like, wear a swimsuit or go on that vacation mm -hmm. or talk to that guy you've always liked. And I... I just wish that more people understood that because so many people, when I open up about my insecurities, I'll see in the comments, well, if you're so insecure about your stomach, why don't you lose weight? Mm -hmm. And it's like, if I lost weight, that wouldn't solve that insecurity. Mm -mm. I have to work on that in my head. I've always had an insecurity with my stomach. That's I think, always like, been. Every oh, woman. God. I mean, every woman ever, <laughs> honestly. True. But that is, like, my number one Same. problem area. And it's been the thing that I fixated the most on literally since I was in sixth grade. Like, since I was 12 years old was the first time I, like, noticed my stomach and was like, yeah. Yeah. oh, hers is smaller than mine. Like, I was at a pool party mm -hmm. for, like, my little sixth grade friends. And all of my friends were wearing these, like, string bikinis. And I was wearing my, like, limited to tankini. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, and I, re I remember noticing, like, I really recognized the fact that, like, oh, mine is like flat like hers you know and since then it's been a problem for me and I have hated I spent years hating my stomach yeah. and like now I'm at the point now where my stomach's the biggest it's ever been and you always like look back and you're like I didn't have a big stomach at all why was I like, so insecure and then? I spent hours and days and years of my life fixating and hiding and trying to cover and trying to I'll find all these like quick fixes for my stomach when it's like it wasn't even a thing. No. And now that I'm in a position where my stomach is literally the biggest it's ever been, it's, like, not even something I really worry about anymore. No. It's just so interesting because it's, like, you, the grass is always greener. You know what I mean? It's, like, you yeah. think, oh, if I'm skinny, I'm going to not worry about, you know, I'm going to wear whatever I want. No, like, no. When I was the skinniest yeah. I've ever been, I was the most fixated on my stomach I've ever been. It's and just really interesting. And I have really heard so many women echo that same thing of, yeah. like, you know, when, when you're restricting yourself in terms of, like, food, when you're, like exercising every single day and obsessed with it when you're saying oh if I'll be so happy when my stomach finally looks like mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. you are going to be the most insecure you've ever been and I think for me like one of the things that really gets me is when I hear from women who are like in their 50s or 60s and are like just accepting their body for yeah. the first time mm -hmm. and it makes me so grateful that I found body positivity when I was <sighs> like 19 because I now have had I get the rest of my life to not say I need to lose weight to be happy mm -hmm. like I get the rest of my life to be like I'm okay having a stomach I'm okay having cellulite I'm okay having stretch marks and that that I don't put my value in that and mm -hmm. like I I feel a lot of sadness for the people in my life who are older and who are very judgmental towards me about my mm -hmm. size because I know they're holding themselves to that same standard mm -hmm. and I'm grateful that I can eat a freaking Reese's cup on Easter and not like 
feel guilty about it. Like, I'm grateful oh, I was so for that. naughty. <laughs> and I think that that is, like, such an awesome, amazing thing. Yeah. And I feel like, like, you two especially are, like, so, I mean, obviously everyone's on a journey. You're yeah. never going to be at the end of, like, your body positivity right. journey. Yeah. But I think that, like, you guys being on this platform and, like, spending so much of your time really focusing on that and working on that for yourselves, you're, like, there already. And I think for so many women, like, me included, yeah. I want to be there mm-hmm. and I'm actively working on getting mm-hmm. there but it's so many years of training oh of, my gosh oh, yeah like it's like what it's you've just been told and seen and digested since you yeah. were a little girl you yeah. know a million percent well and I think once you kind of take that first step into the body positive community you start to notice the way that you talk about yourself and the way that you talk about others and mm-hmm. realize how problematic that is like I've said things on my channel even just a year ago that I would never say mm-hmm. now mm-hmm. like I think you know A year ago, I thought I was being body positive by being like, I want to lose 10 pounds before my wedding. And it's like, that is so problematic. Even if I I was doing it in a healthy way, first of all, the idea of losing weight for any single event, that Uh, just needs to be We talk about that a A lot. lot. We did. And we talked about it, especially around Coachella, was something mm -hmm. that we had talked about, the three of us, this weekend. Well, and I know even we talked about it because both of us had relatives that for our wedding, like... I had two people specifically, probably more, who were constantly telling me, like, oh, like, I'm doing, like, the 80-day ab obsession for your wedding, or, like, oh, I'm doing P90X uh, for your wedding. I got that, too, when And, I like, married. I literally didn't work out for my wedding at all. Good like, the day Good. before, like, at a rehearsal dinner, we had, like, pizza and Greek food, and I, like, mm-hmm. indulged, Good. and I, but... I think it's hard when you have so many people telling you, like, oh, I'm losing weight for this occasion that should hold more importance to you Mm -hmm. than it does to me. Mm -hmm. And I think it's hard even if you are in this space of, like, like, I'm body positive. I'm not going to lose weight for the occasion to still have so many people constantly pushing that. Well, and I think when it comes to big events like weddings and Coachella, it's – I think people, everyone struggles with it. Like, every every single person struggles with, like, insecurities. Yeah. But I think that influencers and celebrities and people in the public eye need to be held to a different standard. Mm-hmm. Where, like, if Skylar said something or, like, my mom said something that was, like, you know, maybe potentially, like, problematic about bodies, that's that that's different because you're not saying that to a vast crowd of people. That's mm-hmm. you with your own issues. Mm-hmm. Whereas, like, if I say something publicly online about like oh I'm not eating for this event or oh like I want to lose 10 pounds for this event like that can affect other people Mm -hmm. and I think that celebrities and influencers have like as much as people don't want to be role models like you have a responsibility Mm -hmm. to be like a positive force well and I think it's it's especially hard because like obviously my job is to work with influencers so I understand that you guys are real people who have real struggles But I think from, like, a viewer's perspective, so many beauty gurus are shown through such, like, a shiny, polished lens. And so many of their fans are so young, and so they look at them of, like, oh, like, these beauty gurus are, like, the perfect goal people. So when those people are, like, constantly, like, altering their bodies and face-tuning and then also showing, like, fitness inspiration... And, like, what their goal body is, people who look up to them are, like, you aren't like right, you yeah. aren't happy it reminds me know? of last night when we were looking at a certain influencer's instagram photo and, and it was i showed very it to carrie and i was like look how face tuned this is and i clicked on the comments and the and very first one you saw the first comment and it had like 60 likes it said my inspiration not to eat and that like that hurt my heart because yeah. It's one thing for an influencer to, or it's one thing for a normal person to face tune or to say body negative things, but then when someone who's in such, like, a position of power online, and and obviously, like, this influencer is, does not have malice. They're not trying to get girls to starve themselves, but. But if you post a clearly doctored photo and, like, make your body look a shape that it isn't even, like, currently, like, in that shape. Yeah. And then you, you know, post it like it's normal. I mean, this this influencer is open about, like, face tuning or whatever, but it's just, it's interesting that, like, women will look at that and, like you said, you know, a lot of them are younger mm-hmm. and they look up it, to them and say, like, okay, what do I have to do to look like that? I think it's really interesting, too, on the, like, the Kardashians and specifics. Mm-hmm. Like, if you, if there's ever a photo of, like, Chloe in a crop top or Kim in a bathing suit, the comments predominantly are, like, my inspiration, like, my thinspiration, skinny legend, 
um, like drop your diet routine. It's always like, what do I do to yeah. look like that? And can we talk about the idea of a goal body when it's not your own? Yeah. Because like a lot of influencers and a lot of celebrities will post like, oh, this is like my goal body, mm -hmm. you know? Or someone will comment on an influencer's photo and say, you're my goal body. Your body will never be someone else's body. No. Like, yeah. even if you got to their exact weight and their exact, like, measurements yeah. somehow. We'll use us as well, an example. Yeah. We have mm -hmm. the, we wear the exact same, same size clothes. We wear, you know, the same size pants. We look completely different. So it's like if we were, like, trying to get to a goal weight or a goal size, look at us standing next to each other. Like, if I was trying to get my body to look like Sierra's, it doesn't at all. Right. Like, it your body will never be your body will never be someone else's body you can't mm -hmm. look at someone else and be like that's my goal because your goal is you mm -hmm. like yeah. your body is yours well and like i'm sure you have a very similar thing and i know we've talked a lot because both of our moms are very fit and very like thin and beautiful and perfect yeah. but both of us have very similar bodies to our moms mm -hmm. like i like if you look at pictures of my mom from like the 80s like we look exactly the oh, same really? yeah. and so it's interesting watching someone else who does genetically have a very similar body to yours talk about how they aren't always like super content with it yeah because like, in my mind, it's the same thing, yeah. right. you know? Well, that's something I think, like, we all, every woman has grown up with. It was, like, we grew up kind of in the, like, diet culture era, right? Mm -hmm. Like, the Slim Fast mm -hmm. and the Adkins yeah. diet and the South oh, Beach. Yeah. And I was surrounded by, like, diet culture talk, mm -hmm. like, my entire life. I was surrounded by women who called themselves fat my yep. entire mm -hmm. life. I was surrounded by, like, insecurity and negative self-talk and body negative, like, super body negative thoughts and, mm -hmm. like, words. Same. And so, I didn't even have a chance. I mean, I remember... <laughs> being like six years old and like drinking slim fast out of the fridge <laughs> yeah because well, yeah. it, it tasted good but it was always there it was always there were just like mm -hmm. jenny craig commercials on tv all the time it was yeah. all about like lose weight lose weight and yeah. you know when i grew up like i mean not to call myself out but like the late 90s like when i was like <laughs> yeah. pre kind of pre-teen era yeah it was like all about the supermodels and like the kate mosses mm -hmm. and like this is not dragging any of those people because at all they're whatsoever beautiful. they're absolutely but stunning. they're only showing the one but they're just showcasing that one type of body and then on top of it you're always told you know like thin is better and like this is you know we we celebrate and we uplift skinny bodies and also lose weight you know and yeah. it's just constantly something you're surrounded by so that mm -hmm. kind of ties into what you were saying how like you you're just surrounded by it from yeah. family members, friends, media, everywhere you go. I mean, and, the, and now it's even, like, a million times worse. I feel very grateful that, like, my mom has always been, like, very encouraging. Mm -hmm. Like, when I, when I was young and I, like, said to my mom, I was like, oh, I want to go on a diet. She was like, why? Like, yeah. no. She was like, well, how about instead of eating pizza, how about instead we make this? Like, you don't need to go on a diet, maybe just, like, make some different choices mm, yeah. and it's not like my mom was some like body positive like icon right yeah. but she never told me that my body was wrong so and she never told me that like oh you can't wear that mm -hmm. yeah. and I think that was the one thing that like gave me a chance was in like a world yeah. where everyone was telling me that like thinner is better and you like lose weight for this and especially growing up as an actor like I felt Ooh, like yeah. if I want if I wanted to get the roles that I wanted I needed to lose weight yeah. Like, it would always be, like, I would see a casting call, and it would be in, like, three weeks, and I'd be, like, okay, I'm gonna try to, like, lose X amount of weight before this casting call, and I think that was very difficult for me, mm -hmm. but my mom helped me with that so much, because yeah. she, I don't think, ever told me that my body was wrong, yeah. or, like, different. Yeah. Go see, mom. and I actually, I feel like a lot of people talk about how, like, they have bad experiences with family members telling them specifically, like, mm -hmm. oh, you've gained a little weight, or this, that, and the other. I've never had a family member comment on my body. But it's them but, commenting on their own. Yeah, it's when people, you can tell that someone holds themselves to such a high standard, you're thinking, oh, well, are you judging me for having, like, the ice cream sundae? Or, oh, if you, like, couldn't possibly imagine doing doing that like what do you think of me for yeah. just like openly I had my first experience with a family member like inadvertently commenting about my weight recently it was last summer and a family member of mine said like hey Carrie I've been meaning to tell you that bathing suit looks really cute on you I should give you this one that I have I got it from Old Navy it's way too big for me mm -hmm. it probably fit you and I was just like standing there and a couple of my cousins were like well, geez yeah like, what just be honest why don't you and I was just like yeah I'm good no thanks like yeah. it was so interesting it was like the first time that 
and a family member have, had ever kind of like commented on my weight like this is just way too big for me maybe it'll fit you it was just so interesting and I'm sure she didn't mean anything yeah. by it but it was just the way she worded it it was clear like where her mind was at like yeah. she was focusing on the fact that I had gained weight and then was like oh I you know it's just interesting it's interesting how people will make like this the tiniest little comment that they maybe don't necessarily even mean but like mm -hmm. it really sticks with you you know my mom and I had a conversation about that because we went to Vegas a few weeks ago and my mom and I flew in early and everyone else drove so it's just like me and my mom in our swimsuits by the pool for a few hours it's so fun and she had just made like a slight comment about like oh yeah these bottoms are a little loose because they got stretched out and then she was like and like my body's a little bit different and then I, and then I was like oh yeah because like you've been working out more right and she was like yeah and it's really weird because I feel like everyone comments like hyper comments when someone loses weight mm -hmm. and then that makes you feel like everyone was watching your body when you mm -hmm. were bigger mm -hmm. and my mom and I were having a conversation we basically came to the like idea that you just shouldn't comment on someone's weight even if you think it's positive Never. because you don't know what someone's going through you know yeah. you may see someone who lost a lot of weight and you want to congratulate them but maybe they didn't do it in a healthy way mm -hmm. maybe they weren't mm -hmm. trying to lose weight like I have a friend who struggled with an eating disorder and she said that when she was in the midst of it, like in the worst part, everyone would always tell her how beautiful and how thin she was. Mm -hmm. And that made her feel like she couldn't go to recovery. Mm -hmm. Like she felt like I've had the exact same experience yeah, with like, myself. Yeah. Like why, if, if you are in a dark place, but everyone's telling you that you look the best you ever have, mm -hmm. that is like the food for your disorder mm -hmm. to yeah. keep it going. Interesting. I think it's like kind of going back to the influencer thing that we were talking about. I think it's really interesting to like kind of on the other side of the coin. Like when you see influencers like posting before and after photos of their mm. weight loss and the before mm. photo, they're like, I was fat, disgusting, lazy, tired, unmotivated, whatever. And it's like your current body now. That's always like really hard for me to swallow. I mean, not to mention that every time I get on like YouTube or Instagram or whatever, I literally pulled up YouTube as we were sitting here talking like a minute ago. And the first three videos were like, I tried the military diet to lose 10 pounds in three days. Or I like, it's all like weight loss focus. Yeah. And it's mm -hmm. so interesting how like, and that is like what you were saying, you kind of have a sense of responsibility because if you're posting a before photo of yourself and you're like, I was fat, lazy, unmotivated, you know, and using fat as like a derogatory term, like right. as an insult, um, you know, unmotivated, I, you know, had indigestion, all these things. And now look at me, I, you know, like restricted myself for months and now I'm the best I've ever been. I have all this energy and like, it's like bad, good. Yes. You know what I mean? And it's like bad, maybe your current great like you might have been you know on a journey for a long time to get to that place and you have to really consider that you know what I mean yeah it's something you really have to take into account well and I think just when it comes to the idea of like before and after photos there's a girl on Instagram who I recently found I think her Instagram handles Mary's cup of tea oh yeah she lives yeah. in Arizona she used to be like a competitive swimsuit model yes like like bodybuilder like fitness yeah. like and she posts before and afters but it's before yeah I was it's so amazing. unhappy like mm -hmm. look at this photo of me I restrict myself for like I was days literally starving. I was starving myself yeah. and then her now where she's gained weight and she's like I am happy I'm vibrant I'm beautiful mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and that's what I want to see yeah, as me a too. before and after I love yeah. I love her account I think it's so so important that yeah. she's talking about that especially as someone who was like in the fitness industry which mm -hmm. is like a whole other like topic mm -hmm. well and she's still quite thin which is mm -hmm. another thing I think is important we touched on this before but the idea that I, I think that body positivity is for everyone yes mm -hmm. because even if someone looks like what you think is the ideal body they might have a whole host of insecurities that you don't even know about mm -hmm. so I think to say body positivity is only for this body or that body I think everyone needs body positivity yeah. it's men too an, it's not an exclusionary thing at all like it's not like a certain like only certain people can be a member of this like everyone's affected it's like by gatekeeping body. yes <laughs> yeah. and some people i mean don't get us wrong like some people on the internet are very like protective of the body positive label and they say well if you're thin you know you can't relate or you can't well everyone goes through body image issues yes. to an extent mm -hmm. are certain bodies marginalized more than others of course absolutely but it's like it's for everyone you yeah. know Okay, let's talk about one more thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Skylar, you pick a topic. Oh. I pick a topic. <laughs> because oh, what do you spot. think is interesting for people to hear us talk on? Ooh. Um, I'm trying I to think, think of, like, what else we've talked about. Yeah. I feel like we've talked a lot about hate and, like, hate comments mm -hmm. and, like, oh, yeah. things that people get flack for. Mm -hmm. Is that okay. an interesting topic? Yeah, yeah. let's do it. Um, 
Go, yeah, go ahead. I actually, I, oh God, I'll get emotional. Um, I actually, I didn't tell you, but the other day I got really sad because I was reading the comments on the Brandy Melville video because oh, no. it like came up in my recommended and I was like, oh my gosh, that has over a million views now because we just don't talk about it because it's kind of like a weird thing. You guys is Brandy Melville. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And and I was like, oh my gosh, that's so awesome. It has over a million views mm -hmm. and I clicked on it and all of the comments were just like, all about my body and it was like a really dark weird rabbit hole that I went down but I feel like it's so hard like as influencers for you guys that you get that like every day yeah and I just like can't imagine isn't it so that? interesting well, how people yeah. say you're not a size whatever like they were saying about you in the oh, video yeah. Skylar's not a size whatever Sierra is actually a 16 she's not a 12 Carrie's not yeah. a 12 she's a 10 it's like what what do you think we're trying to do here? Do yeah. you know what I mean? It's yeah. like, you've, you have to be so aware of the words that you're saying to other people and realize that there's a human being on the other end mm -hmm. of it. And like, you have to be so sensitive to like these, you know, it yeah. really upset you. And that well, makes me and it, mad. Uh, it and makes it was me on I'm both. like protective of you too, <laughs> which is well, why like, I, I send Skylar screenshots when people comment really nice things about yeah. her when she's in my videos. Like in the Aspen Overhead review, literally all the comments are like, more Skylar, oh, like Skylar's so, so nice. cute. And, and I second that. And I, I get like very I now, protective. If I'm ever like in a video, like in the vlog channel I like read comments because it's like us and Kyle and Steven and it's always like a fun thing yeah. but I feel like on your main channel if I know that I'm in a video I just don't look at the comments because mm -hmm. even on the Brandy Melville video there were a lot of comments saying negative things about my body but then there was one that was like oh like Skylar has such a chubby face I thought she would be like a size 18 but then I clicked on it and like wow body goals and it was like what? a weird like a roller coaster yeah. slam yeah. you know and it's like I don't know I feel like no matter what way people are hitting you, whether it's like body goals or like you're totally lying, or mm -hmm. like it just, it's bad no matter what. Mm -hmm. I think for me, the hardest thing has been, so I've always had a super thick skin because like I said, I grew up as an actor. So I was used to being told like too tall, too short, too fat, too thin. And I was okay with that. Like I, mm. I felt really yeah. confident in myself. And That's rare. I, for the, yeah, it, it was a journey, yeah. but for the first time in December during Vlogmas, I started feeling like hate get to me and it was when my channel was growing a lot. Oh yeah, I remember that. And what I realized was the hard thing about being online and having all those hate comments is that if you're in a dark place and you're kind of like feeding that self-hatred, you can continue to feed it. Mm -hmm. Like there, you can go mm -hmm. to the comments on videos that have a lot of hate or go to hate forums and you can see, like you can really get down on yourself. Oh, whereas. Yeah. I think before I was uh, like a YouTuber, if I was having a bad body day, there's not really anyone who's going to make you feel worse than yeah. yourself. Oh, and it's like so addicting. True. I mean, yeah, I literally, like, I just have that one specific video that's about me. Like, yeah. I'm sure you guys have a lot of other outlets where, like, you can access that. But I literally called both Jessica and Kyle, like, sobbing, crying. Mm. But they were like, just stop. Like, just, can. like, don't, yeah. like, just don't think about it. Just don't, like they're trolls, they don't know you, whatever, but it's like such a dark rabbit hole to fall down, you know? Yeah. And it's I think something Skylar said when we were at like a YouTube workshop, which was about like mental health for content creators that I thought was very interesting was like being online, there's this idea that like you shouldn't let hate get to you and like you're you, like you put yourself out there. So it's like part of the job. But if you were walking down the street and someone went up to you and were like, you are so ugly. Yeah. That would ruin your day. Yeah. Like, oh my gosh. And then the you idea... would think about that for years. Yeah. Literally, oh, absolutely. if one person, if Kyle tonight were to tell me that like I have the chubbiest face in the world, I would like that would affect me uh, forever yeah. in our relationship. Oh, of not because having a chubby face is bad, like, but just because of your own insecurities. But just about because it. of my own insecurities yeah. and like well, the fact it's, that it's said it's so to normal. hurt you. It's yeah. said yeah. to hurt you. Like it's on not, you that know... video, there were literally thousands of comments. Yeah. And I feel like never in my life would I have even one person, let alone thousands of people, commenting on my body. Mm -hmm. No matter how they're commenting, like positive or negative. And so I feel like it's such a weird thing to just say like, oh, like as a YouTuber, you shouldn't let hate get to you. Like mm -hmm. don't look at the comments. Like there are so many more positive comments because there are. Yeah. But like if someone were to come up to me today and be like, you're lying about your size. <laughs> you, like, you're this, that, and the other. Yeah, and, yeah. like, that would, like, totally affect me. Like, I would have to, like, stop working for the rest of the day because yeah. it would just, like, I, I'm not a liar. And yeah. I, like, 
And so I can't. Would you like to see the tag on the inside of my jeans? Because, it's like, what do well, you want me to and do? That's, like, that's a whole nother conversation okay. of, like, people assuming, I know both of you struggle with that, of, like, people tend to say that, like, you're lying that you're actually smaller than you are and that you're lying that you're actually bigger than you are. Mm-hmm. And, like, for the record, people look way different on yeah. camera than yeah. they do in real life. True. And people hold their weight differently. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, like, you just shouldn't make comments about mm-hmm. anyone's Anyone ever. 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 Whether you think it's positive or not. Like, yeah. in a world, I feel like all three of us really preach to, like, like, show kindness towards others. Mm-hmm. And I think at the end of the day, like, you got to put on your air mask on the plane before you put it on You're someone so else. Right. Like, Ooh, you that have just hit to... me. That just, like, really hit me. I don't know why. But, yeah. like, you yeah. have to show kindness to yourself before mm-hmm. you can, like, get in that headspace yeah, for others. You're so right. You know? Mm-hmm. That's very important. And Carrie and I were talking about that, that, like, I would look at Carrie and, and something and just be like, she's, oh my gosh, you look so beautiful. You look so gorgeous. But I would never, I don't talk about myself that same way. And you should. And I should. Mm-hmm. And there's no reason that I shouldn't be just as kind to myself as I am to the other people in my life. Agreed. So that's a great place to end it. Be kind to yourself. Love your body right now. And um, I love you, ladies.